Who are we looking for again? Raylan Osravel. Let's see, are you in the center area? Is it you? No. How may Neither I of you. Citizen. Up top, maybe. A warm welcome oh, there you are, yeah. All right, so the interesting thing about this dude is that there's actually a quest to get Oriel's bow from him. But the problem is that the quest giver is Mistress Therana. Remember her? Yeah, we killed her! <laughs> When we had last left the Nerevereen, they were wrapping up all of their business everywhere, all around town. Yes, Thormor was appeased and oh, not awakened from their thousand-year slumber. In fact, kind of the opposite, allowed to finally enter a slumber after not a thousand years, but may as well have been of no slumber at all. And also decide to help out Ingmar, a dude who needed help passing a rite of sorts for the Skull folks. And it was up to the Nervreen to help him cheat by slaying, or not so much slaying, but tanking a Draugr demon dude. <laughs> not really a demon, but a Draugr undead dude inside of some freaky burrow. Now the Nervreen had returned back to Ravenrock, back to their factor's estate, their humble abode, where they would set out for adventure just one more time before wrapping everything up. This is the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Welcome back. Whew. There we go. Let's get out of here. In fact, let's get out of here using our fun little band because we're on our quest to wrap up business at let's see at boo, 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 at the mournhold fun zone <laughs> good lord let's see the mournhold museum of whatever it is let's see where is my we have not hardly used it do i actually still have it equipped no okay Let's see, because I did, in between videos, go and check in on all that stuff. Just to, like, take notes and all that so we could be prepared. But I think it's a good idea, it's a good move to capture it all here on video. There we go. Berylzar's Mazed Band. There we go, and I would love to go to... Bornhold. There we are. We'll tour the museum real quick and see what's missing. Like I said, I've already written it down, but you know, just for the sake of continuity and all that, right? Let's head on over. I've never once done this, and in fact, this time, we technically will not do it. If you'll remember correctly, way back when... Look, I'm flying too high. <laughs> but if you'll remember way back when, in order to do the super secret Easter egg quest, we traded gold brand for Elton Brand, which is like objectively a better version of it. However, I guess in some ways it isn't objectively better, right? Because the museum will not take that upgraded version. So in doing so, you can never truly fully complete your Museum of Artifacts collection. But nonetheless, we got all this stuff here. Boots of Blinding Speed, Boots of the Apostle, the Triumvirate of Rings, Finaster, Warlocks, Vampiric, Spear of Bitter Mercy, Staff of Magnus, Velas Judgment, Mace of Slurring, Mace of Molech Bal, Skull Crusher, Dagger of Samachus, Ebony Mail, Cuirass of the Savior's Hide, Lord's Mail. Very cool that, like, a lot of these all ha have, like, meanings and explanations surrounding them, right? There's none that are actually just, like, true mysteries in the world of the Elder Scrolls, right? I don't know. Maybe there, are. Maybe there are. Right? But, like, for example, the Dagger of Samachus, like, we know who Samachus is by having read about Queen Baron's Eye and all that, right? Let's see. Dragonbone Cuirass. Bipolar Blade. Ice Blade of the Monarch. Umbra Sword. Bow of Shadows. Chrysomir. Stendar's Hammer, though that was already here. Robe of the Lich, 
good old Spellbreaker. And I think that's it for now. So yeah, we're going to try and flesh out our Justice, little collection yes. here. And let me see. I wrote down the ones that we are missing. Let's see. Now we are missing a couple that we do actually kind of have. We'll bring Elton Brand here as well, which I kind of included in that. But also we have Elidon, Elidon, Iladun, El <laughs> Elidon's Ward, which we have that. I've stowed it away somewhere. But other than that, we have to get Oriel's Bow, Oriel's Shield, Bloodworm Helm. Let's see. The Fang of Heinek... To Name? Namit? <laughs> the Helm of Orion Bearclaw. The Ten Pace Boots, and I think that's it. Nope, the Staff of Hasidoki. Alright, good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to write down the Bloodworm Helm on my list here. Huh, alright. Well, nonetheless, this will probably take us a fair bit, right? Okay. Let's see, let's head on out and over, over to, actually, you know what? Let us take our ring. Or no, let's not do that. Let's see, what's our encumbrance at? Yeah, we've got plenty of room. Okay, it's unfortunate that, there, that there's no like retroactivity for this, for Tribunal and Blood Moon, but I guess it's totally possible that you could own Blood Moon, but not Tribunal, right? And maybe that's the, the reason why they didn't want to have Blood Moon be a direct continuation from Tribunal. That way, if you wanted to, you could just buy Blood Moon, right? You could just go in there and pick up the box copy and all that. Maybe that's it. Because on the console version with Xbox and all that, the only way you could get the expansions is if you bought the Game of the Year edition, right? That included Morrowind's expansions. I believe that was the only way possible. I think. Anyway, Welcome to the let us head on back to Bal Isra. It's been forever, and this will probably be the last time we're ever out here, right? Whatever Let's see. You want. Recall. At least until our next playthrough, right? Things are drawing to a close here. And yeah, look at all this. Amazingly enough, a lot of things that we would consider rare artifacts are not needed by the museum, like the scarab schematics or the skeleton key. Right? But, I think it's in this one or the other one? Or like, for example, Hope's Fire, even the Cleaver of St. Felms, or Volendrung, which is definitely brought up to artifact status in future games, for sure. And stuff like True Flame. Well, I don't think, yeah, I don't think Hope's Fire and True Flame appear in future games, but they should. They should. Let's see here. There we go. Elton Brand. There we are. Anything else in here that's like, yeah, the Banhammer? Scourge? Shimsel? Those all seem like, <laughs> like stuff that we would want, right? Okay, now we also need to go pick up the ward. Welcome, friend. Oh, sorry. Are you the one I've there heard we are. About? And then it should be, I think, in this one? There we go. Elidin's ward. Cast when used, restore health 50 to a hundo. Worth 200 grand. Okay. We're just barely under encumbrance. Holy shit. Okay, now let's warp on back to Mournhold. And turn these suckers in. There we are. Good. And let's head on out this way. Oh, oh God. Enemy. Jesus. Justice. Okay, out this way. And then back over to the museum. I don't think you actually get anything for fully completing the museum and all that. But it's just always something that I kind of wanted to do on a personal level. Right? Okay. Let's see. Over here. And then... Nope. Whoops. Got mixed up. Over on this side. Seven okay, good. And depending on yes. how far we get along with our collection this time around. Let's see. We may either continue it next time. Or, oh whoops, or next time we just finish the game entirely. Holy shit, imagine that. After all this time. Wild. Okay, let's turn, well, let's see. Does, does uh, Morrowind graphics and sound overhaul actually have a, a mod within it that lets her take it? 
sell something. Okay. Let's see. There we go, the ward. What a wonderful shield that is. Are you interested in selling it to the museum? I can offer you 30,000 gold for it. Sell the item. This will make a wonderful addition to our collection, I'm sure. What do you have to say about it? Anything? Nah, nothing in particular. And we can't give you, yeah, no Elton brand, but if we click on gold brand... Oh, it's not even there. Mmm. So I see. Okay. Well, let's lay it down on this, and then if we notice that there's like a, a blank spot or whatever, we'll put that right there. Let's see, now let me bring up my notebook in real life. Let's cross that off. Let's see. Over here, cross these. There we go, good. And then, cross it off in this section. Lovely. Okay. Cool. Now, let's head over to Vivek. Right, we got a little something to do in Vivek. Let's see. Let's get this going. Here we are. Over to Vivek. And what are we looking for in Vivek but none other than the 10 pace boots, which should be at a dungeon we've already been to. So I guess we may have just missed it, right? Which, you know what? Isn't that far fetched for, <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's do a quick save just in case we crash, right? We've been doing a lot of fast traveling. It's very, very possible. Okay. Good. And then we need to head directly east to Balfell. No, we. I don't think we've been on, on over there. Okay, holy shit. Let's see. Let's go on over. Oh, there we are. I wonder if there's any quests that I've missed out on. I don't know. Because the, the trouble with Morrowind Mondays is that it's been a weekly affair. And <laughs> I can barely remember things that happened to me yesterday, let alone years ago. <laughs> right? I don't know. And there's no, like, good checklist of quests that we have completed here, right? I mean, I guess there is. Yeah, show all. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there totally is. But my god, there's a lot. There are so many here. And the trouble is, is that I can't, like, control F through it. Huh problematic okay but nonetheless also at the same time it doesn't feel as egregious to me because we're definitely going to replay this right we're going to keep playing this <laughs> forever <laughs> all right let's see where is look see there's no egg here should we just pop on inside of ansi let's have a look why not let's see what's inside probably just oh bandits actually okay let's lay an egg down Oh, shit. You were not a fan of that. Okay, let's see. Egg machine. Over here. Boom. Beautiful. Alright. Get Gordon out. Hey, what's up with you, Lunia Menanius? You're in combat with me. Alright, eat a butt. Anything else? Nope. Nothing of value there. Let's continue looking around the dungeon here. Here to combat. Yep. Oh. Eat shit. There we go. <laughs> Anything on you? Potion of shadow. I guess I'll drink it. You know what? What I am thinking of doing for our next playthrough, when we begin with um, Open MW and all that shit, I'm thinking that we don't use any custom enchants except for one or two that will help us travel around more quickly. Right? So we won't have, like, this outfit that's all fully custom enchanted and stuff. I'm thinking maybe we do that. Right? And instead we'll just have Gordon on the, uh, quick summon rather than on a shield or whatever. I don't know. Something I've been considering. Okay, what have we got here? Nothing too terribly important. Ash statues, elemental burst fire, I'll take it. I mean, I guess I really do not need to be taking these things, but hey. Geez, they are just smuggling big time for the sixth house, huh? 
Let's re-equip Sunder here. There we are. Loads of pants. Drink some booze. Good. Lovely. Full set of bone mold? No, no hat. Yeah, no hat. Weird. Why no hat? Let's turn the lights back on. Okay. Can hear something like whistling through the cave. Good. Alright, I'm assuming, yep. You need to go. You as well. There we are. Okay, let's see. And I mean, even even in saying that, in giving ourselves that limitation, I mean, what really are we wearing now that's giving us immense power? Really not too much, right? Like, the biggest hit will be that we need to carry around... I don't know. Well, we'll lose out on the Sanctuary, right? We've got, like, a good percentage of Sanctuary at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Wraith Guard, yeah, but Wraith Guard will still have in the future, right? I don't know. Okay. Let's see, we'll take that. But also, that'll limit us on, like, combat enchantments, which we, admittedly, we haven't made too much use of. But even so... It'll limit us on, like, we won't use our Cliff Racer Killer amulet and all that. Maybe we'll just, like, get a crossbow and use that or something. Let's see. Let's drink all these. Why not? Take that money. Take this. Eat a diamond just for old time's sake. <laughs> okay. Over here. Got some boats. Good lord, could you imagine hauling these big-ass boats in here? That seems like such a pain in the butt. Inside this little tiny area. Look, Gordon, how have you done this? How are you looping around like this, Gordon? Oh, I guess we've explored the full thing. Is it true? Could it be? No, it looks like we haven't gone down this little area. What's over here? Okay. Just a campfire... Sultris, some miscellaneous junk in here. Lock splitter, bone biter charm. There we go. We'll take that. But yeah, it'll also give us like a like cause to use other items that we find in the game that are added as part of um oh what is it? Tamriel Rebuilt? Is that the one that I'm thinking of that adds like loads of mainland Morrowind and stuff? I forget. Something along those lines. Okay. Over here. And then... Just taking a look at my mini-map here. Up here on the right. Good. There we are. Okay. Let's get over to Balfell while it's still light out, huh? In fact, maybe that's it. Yeah, okay. We have been to Balfell. I knew it. Okay. Let's see. Let's blast on over. So this will be a problem if we show up to Balfell... And the shit that we're looking for is not there. <laughs> what are we looking for again? Ten pace boots. Oh, God. That sounds like something I may have just gotten rid of at some point. Right? Jeez and Pete. It's possible. Okay. Let's see. So, let me take a look at this, because I wrote down some more specifics. Balfell locked chest at the inner shrine. Do we have access to the inner shrine from outside? I'm not sure. Let's see, are you angry as hell? No. I mean, you kind of are, but not angry enough to fight me. Yep, up and over. And then, you think down around here. Nah, it doesn't look like it. There is just a very <laughs> disgruntled cliff racer. But that's fine, that's nothing new. All right. Let's see, anything else? Maybe that's that's the thing with Morrowind versus Solstheim. Is that maybe the, the creature density is kind of high in Morrowind, or in the core game. But there's a lot more passive creatures and ones that don't have as nearly large aggro radiuses. Maybe that's it? Oh, shirtless man. I don't believe I've seen a Dark Elf with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? Nah, not really. No thanks, dude. I'm good. How about up over here? 
looked like an entrance, but it is not. Okay. Oh, up and over. And then, let's head on in. There we are, outer shrine. Okay, and then we need to get to the inner shrine. Wow, we've never gone inside of Balfell. That's wild. All right, let's do a quick save. Here, Gordon, let's rumble. Let's see, I should probably also equip my healing ring. There we are. Okay, are you all friendly? Oh, you are! Cool, okay. You're with the Mages Guild! I am Morzush Grabulfim, warrior and associate of the Mages Guild. That's great. Who are you, also with the Mages Guild? Yeah, what? Welcome, friend. Welcome. Please. What are you all Please. doing out here? Trebonius, what do you have to say about Trebonius? Okay, just stuff that we've heard before. Latest rumors, little advice, secret. No, nothing in particular. Mages Guild, maybe? Huh. Weird. What are, what are you all doing out here? All right, sure. You know what? Maybe they're, like, practicing conjuration? They've clearly wiped out a bunch of scamps, huh? They left weapons inside of them. Okay. How bizarre. There's Inner Shrine. Let's look around. Look, does this also have, like, an upper level or whatever? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, over here. West Wing. Let's check that out. All right. Oop. No dice. Let's see. Get you fucked up. There we are. Oh, hey. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. Is this part of, like, a House Telvani thing? Where you have to go bail out the Mages Guild or something? I could see that being the case. Let's see. Let's rest until healed. That way we can turn on the lights again. All right. Because definitely House Telvani's questline is like my least familiar. There we are. Good. Great. Okay. Anything up top? Not really. Over here. That goes back to the inner shrine. Let's check out the eastern wing. See if there's anything good over there. Or anything interesting. Yeah, I totally bet that this is part of, like, House Telvani. Because we did all of the Mages Guild stuff, right? Or maybe it's House Lalu stuff that I forgot about? I don't know. Oh, look. It's a goatee, Gordon. Haven't seen one of you all in a long time. Okay. Over here. Something kind of homey and heartwarming about being back on, uh... I almost said mainland again, but... On, back on Vardenfell, right? Something kind of, uh, warms my heart about it. Okay, even though, you know, it's just been a hop, skip, and jump away. Okay, let's head on up again. And let's enter the inner shrine from this section, right? From the big outer shrine lobby area. Alright, knock knock, who's inside? We don't even know who this shrine is for yet, do we? Oh, it's for you. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What is that? An ebony short sword. All right. Let's take that. Wow, no one, huh? Okay, sure. Let's see. Anything else? No, not really. All right. Let's get into this mess. Probe it. And let's pick it. There we are. Hey, 10 pace boots. What do they do? Cast when used. Fortify speed and athletics for 20 points for two minutes. Drain fatigue, five points for two minutes. Slow fall for two minutes. One point of slow fall. Weird. It's just like a worse version of the boots of blinding speed. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We already did your quest, so yeah, you're definitely not the version of the statue that'll speak to us. I think that was inside of, like, the canals of Vivek, right? 
Okay. Let's continue poking around here. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, these lead to... Yeah, the wings, huh? Oh, weird. Okay. Is there, like, an upper echelon that I missed? No, that's it. Okay, cool. Well, we got what we came for. All right. Let's see. Now, shit, I guess we can just warp right out of here, huh? Let's see. Let me cross this off the list. Ten pace boots. There we go. Good. All right. Let's see. What should we hit up next? Oh, okay. We got like a two for one special over somewhere. Let's see. Should we deposit this back at... How much does this weigh? Whoa, 60 units. Oh my God. Jesus. Who are these boots made out of? All right, yeah, let's definitely take that back to fucking <laughs> the museum, huh? Okay, there we go. Back to Mornhold. Fingers crossed we don't blow up or whatever. There we are, do a quick save. Head on out of here. No, oh, fuck, oh, fuck me. <sighs> God, it happened again! Oh my God. If anything, that time it was even worse because we got more of a, a look at his fucking mug <laughs> rather than clipping through it partially. Fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> Should we just kill that guy for the next time we come back? Should we just kill him? Am I gonna for- No, there's no way I'm gonna forget a third time, right? There's no way it's gonna happen a third time. We're gonna remember after this because it was so bad of a scare. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking A. All right. Here we are. Museum of Artifacts. If a few words can help, Let's I'd see. be happy to Yeah, talk. I would love to sell the 10 pace boots. There we go. Remarkable boots. What the wind must feel like while running in them. Do you wish to part with them, Lyle? I can offer you 30,000 gold for them. Sell the item. I hope they are content to be here in the museum rather than running through Morrowind's countryside. Thank you, Lyle. I mean, I appreciate that, but also at the same time, they were inside of a treasure chest. We stole it from someone. <laughs> you know, museums filled with stolen stuff. Okay. Ten pace boots. Nah, nothing new. I'm assuming, yeah, they're over here with the other boots. Wow, just looking at this. Hey, guess, guess which one of these three is the heavy armor one? It's this one. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are they so heavy? Is that part of like... Shale Gorath's trick or something? What the fuck? Where did um, where'd the other thing go to? Where'd the shield go to? I guess upstairs? I'm kind of curious to see it. Let's have a look. Uh, right, of course. Next to the other one. Okay, cool. I like it. All right. Now, let's get out of here, right? Just we need to head on over to... Back to Vivek, right? Let's see. Let's do that. Good. Actually, nowhere. Yeah, let's... We don't need to head back to Vivek. We can head back to Balizra. Now that I think of it. Okay. Let's see. Where is... Where's Marara's ring? Let's equip that. There we are. Okay. And we need some magicka, huh? Let's see. That'll do. And let's recall. There we are. And then we'll hit up Elm CV Intervention. Good. Look at this. Man, we're getting around. We get... We fucking get around town, huh? There we go. Jesus, it turns out, you know, once you get... <laughs> All these items and shit that teleport you and you have all your, like, mark and recall shit set up. You're just fucking booking it, huh? Alright. Let's pop all this open. And then, let's head on up to... Or over to... The old ghost gate. Good. Here, let's wait until it's daylight out as well. Let's go for... 12 hours. That's good. Yeah, because we need... The double down double super threat of Oriole's bow and shield. Both of which are over here. Alright. 
just jump along this area. Good, good, good. All right. Cool. I am quite excited for... <laughs> for We've mentioned this before, but obviously I'm also quite excited just in general for, for Skywind. But also to see how they've like remade a lot of the dungeons and stuff to make them more unique and fun to explore, right? I wonder if, um, I mean, it'll, it, surely it'll happen, right? A lot of people get into Morrowind via Skyrim, or Skywind, I should say. And then they mistake the fact that like, oh my god, all of the Morrowind dungeons were incredible. And really, they weren't all that incredible, were they? <laughs> there were a lot that were just kind of a lot of nothing. <laughs> but back in the day, back when Morrowind first came out, it was kind of amazing. The fact of it alone, even being there, kind of amazing. All right, let's see, it's not actually inside. Look, I missed this, huh? Did you miss this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Hit you, great. Okay. Let's see, hopefully these people are here. Let's see, we need to go into Tower of Dawn, right? Good. And then, over here, let's see, we need to look around. Who are we looking for again? Let me check my notes. Raylan Othravel. Okay. Let's see, are you in the center area? Is it you? No. How may Neither I of you. Citizen. Up top, maybe? A warm welcome oh, there you are, yeah. All right, so the interesting thing about this dude is that there's actually a quest to get Oriel's bow from him. But the problem is that the quest giver is Mistress Therana. Remember her? Yeah, we killed her <laughs> as part of the Morag Tong, right? She was one of our writs. She is fucking dead. So hopefully this guy will just hand it over. Okay, he's not. He's definitely not. So we're going to have to probably kill this man somehow. Let's do a quick save. And I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to pickpocket him because, you know... Oh, look, there it is. I'll just take... Okay, yeah. Oh, I've been expelled from the temple. Okay, okay. Let's quick load and let's, let's blast him. All right. Oh, Gordon is making us have a, a problem. Fine, though. Okay. In fact... Here you go. Let's get Gordon out. Okay. Let's see. Let's kill this man. There we are. Good taunt fail. There we are. That sweet spot. That does it. That does it. Line them up. Ooh, look. They're blasting one another. Look, it's a super blast off. Get him, Gordon. Can you do it? I don't know. He's pretty tough. Look, they're killing this ordinator next. Wow, I got expelled for it. Oh, for fuck's sake. He killed him. They're getting me? Oh, shit. Present my writs. You have no legitimate writs? Oh, my sh- All right, <laughs> resist arrest. <laughs> we'll just load up here. There we go. Oh, that's another question with Skywind. Do you think they'll make um, the jail system more interesting? More similar to um, how Skyrim is, where you can actually bust out, and there's a lot of fun little. I see this land suits you. Uh, what do you call it? We welcome you freely, Emerging gameplay with getting arrested. Okay, let's see. Let's do this taunt. Get a couple of these in there. Man, look, he's very resilient to it this time around. Okay, there we are, and one more maybe. There we go, that does it. Die. Oh god. As long as that man does not die. If if they ever die, it's always the Nerevrain's fault. <laughs> and this apparently is kind of a unique item as well, the gavel of the ordinator. Who'd have thunk? Alright, but this is what we want. Oriel's bow. No incham whatsoever. Which you know what? I guess is fair. Because you know, Morrowind. The enchant situation is a little fucked up when it comes to bows. Okay, let's see. Now, let us head on over to the other tower, because there's someone else over there that we need to kill. 
<laughs> See, thank goodness that we've already beaten the, the main quest. Otherwise, you know, old Dagoth Earth's going to ring us up again in our sleep thinking that, hey, we've decided to... <laughs> we've had a, a change of heart. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming that this person is also going to be in the, like, main center area. Let's see. Could it be you? Brilliant Armager? A Mayan? You? Welcome, friend. I think it's you. A legend around here. Please Draline talk. Lenham. It is. Okay, let me cross him out. Oriel's bow. Taken care of. Okay, good. And Draline Lenham. Yep, the devil is dead. Nothing about the bow. Or the shield, I should say. Is she actually wielding it? Oh, she is, yeah. It very much uh, matches with the chitin armor, doesn't it? Weird. It looks nothing like this in Skyrim land, right? Nothing at all like that. If anything, I remember it being a little more... Has a lot of, like, vertical swoopy lines to it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? It's got some swoopiness to it. It's got some swooping going on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little swooping. Whereas, like, I think, um... Spellbreaker, I could see it vaguely looks similar, right? Like, at least the silhouette of it looks quite similar. I could reasonably see that, but this looks absolutely nothing like it. I can't... I guess maybe the color. <laughs> sure, the color. That's about as close as you can get. All right, let's see. Let's rumble. There we go. Good. There we are, and... Ooh, look, it takes... More than two, three for you. Now you die! Jeez, always using some wizard's magic, huh? Oh. Oh, I reflected it onto her. <laughs> All right, fair enough. There we go. Good. Love it. Fireblade. Don't need that. Oreo shield, also unenchanted. Wild. How was anyone ever supposed to know that she had the shield? I have no idea. I don't know. Because at least for the bow, there's the quest, right? But how was anyone ever meant to know that? Maybe just people like digging around through the construction set and stuff. Or you just ask, um, check up on like <laughs> your game facts or the official Elder Scrolls forums for whoever has decided to kill every single NPC in the game and looted, loot them all, right? They'll be like, hey, did you all know? <laughs> I found Oriel Shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let us use our little doohickey to get out of here. Let's quick save first, though. All right, and then where is our... There it is. All right, send me back to Warnhold. Lovely. All right, and then out this way. I'm ready for it. I'm oh, ready for it. Yep. Heavy. It was a little bit jarring. My butt did clench up a bit, but no, no, no shriek of terror. Not this time. No siree. All right. Let's head on over here. Good, good, good. All right. And then up here on the left, right? Oop. God sorry. There we go. Up here to the museum. Look at this. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum. Here, do you have anything to say about Oriel's stuff? Ooh, it's interesting. Is that ash yams I smell? Right, I believe when I was looking it up, that's like the hint that is given to you by Therana or something. She says like, oh, it smells of yams or whatever. The bow smells of yams and the, the scent is strongest near Ghost Gate or something, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is Ash Yams. Sell the item. Thank you, Lyle. It's rare to find an item for a collection with such a distinctive aroma. All right. There we go. In the future, I think the yam smell has worn off. Oriel's shield. Another shield for a fine collection. Are you willing to sell it, Lyle? I can offer 13,500 gold for it. Sell the item. Thank you, Lyle. We shall display it proudly. Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's take a quick look. Oriel's shield is probably with the others, right? But where could the bow be? Somewhere up here? 
Oh, is this it right next to the... Yeah, look at that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, do you like that? Look. Very important stuff in here. Yeah, there it is. It's definitely the... The worst looking of them all. It looks like a... Like a pasty or something. <laughs> all right. Sure. You know what, Oriel? I ain't judging. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Let's see. Let's do a quick save here. All right. Now what is left on our list? Oh, dear Lord. Okay. We have the Fang of Hanek Tanamit. All right. <laughs> Let's see. And this is at southeast of Nysus. All right. Fuck. Let's see. What's our best way to get over there? Hmm. Do we recall? I think we recall. Let's see. Do this. And then... If we do... Divine Intervention... Does that take us to Nysus or to... No, that'll take us to Fort Buckmoth, won't it? Yeah. So let's get out of here. And jump around a bit. Let's see. Balizra. Look at this. We can say one more hello one more time to the pillow fort. There it is. Beautiful. You know what? One of the things that won't be possible when Skywind rolls around. One of the things that you just can't beat in old school classic ass Morrowind. Pillow fort. This won't be possible in Skywind. People won't know. People won't fucking know. Oh, see? It still has its charms, even in the face of the beauty that will be Skywind. There will still be reason enough to go back and play old-ass Morrowind on the Morrowind-ass engine. All right, and we got Fargoth and Kriskar out here as well. <laughs> They're still out here, out here, amazingly enough. All right, let's see. Bring up our world map, and then head on over here. Good. All right. Over this way, and it's southeast. It's at a sixth house base, which I think we've wiped the floor with every single one of them. But I, I guess not. I don't know. Let's see. It's at... Let me check here. Mamea. Okay. It's inside of one of the... One of the troughs. One of the feeding troughs or whatever. You know the ones. Apparently there is a goodie in there. A very ancient and amazing artifact. Can't believe they didn't want the horny fist or whatever it's called, huh? Hey, who the hell are you? You're with the Thieves Guild? Lucan Shipment. <laughs> sure, he's, he's out here. He lives out here. I don't even remember his quest now at this point. Good lord. Let's see, should we check this out? What if this is Mamea? I don't think it is, but let's look inside. Ashimanu Egg Mine. Okay. Let's see, let's plant an egg. Beautiful. Head on in. Let's take a quick look. What do we see? Bunch of Quamadoos. That's fine. Alright. They're magical eggs. Should we take some of them? I think I will take a few. There we are. All right. Hmm. Anything worth looking at in here? No clue. Probably not. Oh, whoa. That's diseased. All right. The queen's lair. Good. You know, we've actually been in here. Look at the map. Yeah, we have been inside of this place before. For what reason? There's the queen. Hey, queen. Have a good one. Okay, yeah, let's let's get the heck on out of here. Avoid the wormulons. Okay. And then... Up and around this way. Good. You know what? Now that I think of it... Notice their little whisker tendril things. Don't the Charis have, like, antenna like that? Hmm. Do you think there's some sort of... 
<gasps> what if the Charis aren't a normal native species? Oh my God, you know what else has eggs out here like this? The fucking Charis. What if the Charis are not a normal species, a naturally occurring one? What if the Charis are also the result of what happened to the Falmer, right? From the snow elves to becoming the Falmer? Fucked up toxic experimentation that as uh, from coming into contact with the terrible shit that the Dwemer put them through? What if that's the exact same thing that happened with the Charis? What if they're like mutant Kwama and they've just changed over time? I don't know. What if they're like a new species that got introduced because of the experimentation from the Dwemer? Oh my God. Could it be? I mean, they do have heavy poison attacks, right? But that may just be happenstance. But they do share a lot of similarities, right? What if... And maybe, like, their armored carapace and all of that? Or their ability to fly? All of that is, like, genetic engineering from the Dwemer to try and create, like, fighting creatures? But they decide they weren't... Like, they were too unwieldy or whatever, right? Oh, these Charis that we've created from the Kwama. They're too unwieldy. They're, they won't be of use to us. Instead, you know what is reliable and useful to us? Our own mechanical creations. We'll shove all this bullshit, this biological shit off to the side and focus back on uh, technology or whatever, right? I could see that being the case. I don't know. I don't think a, a lick of it is confirmed, but it's definitely possible. All right. Where's this freaking Mamea place? We've definitely been to it. Let's see. Let's make this big as shit. Do I spy anything? I don't... <laughs> I don't think I do. All right. Let's see. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to think if there's any, like, um, origin stories about the Charis in Skyrim. I don't know. Any, like, books on it? I don't think there are. I know there's the, like... Charis Pie recipe book, but I think that's the extent of it, huh? Shit, are there even references to the Charis at all? Surely people must talk about them. Yeah, I'm probably just not thinking of it right now. But I don't think there's any books on them. Man, this is where <laughs> I need to, like, load up UESP's lore page on Charis. Hey, what's up with you all? Oh, shit. Oh, God. They're here to take my wiener. All right. Good. All right. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Anything else over here? Is this Mamea? No. Phalus Ancestral Tomb. That is most certainly not it. Where is this place? I don't think we've been inside of this one either, huh? Should we go inside? Fuck it. Let's just go in real quick. See what's up. Look, yeah, we've never been in here. All right. Here, let's lay an egg out front. There we go. Look, we may not find Mamea this time, but you know what? Maybe next time we'll have a little forethought to, uh, like, try and memorize its spot on UESP's super cool map. There we are. Oh, shit. Now let's just rock him, sock him. There you go. Eat a butt. Some wretched demon or whatever over there. Let's see, should I do a blessing? Let's see, I'll see the restoration, good. All right, let's pick into this. Look, in doing this, you know, I didn't expect to be doing so many miscellaneous dungeons, but hey, here we are. Why not? What is this, like a baby? Ooh. Here, Gordon, let's head outside real quick, that way I can rest. Why well, can't, there's enemies. Who do you think it is, Gordon? Some sort of, like, power fish? Alright, Gordon, I'm going back in. I'll just scarf down a potion or whatever. There we go. Good. Okay. Yep, bunch of cobwebs. Let's check over here first. What have we got? Lock level 10. A little tiny bone? With a little tiny- Oh, no, wait! It's a key! Oh, shit! <laughs> I was like, weird, it's a little tiny bone, a little tiny skull with like a, a little tiny spinal column or whatever. 
Oh, look. So many heads in here. What are you doing? Were you, like, sucking all their skin and organs off? Just like someone eating bone-in wings or whatever? Ugh. How many heads are here? Jeez. Oh my god, there's like a whole town worth of people. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one. My god, twenty-one people! I don't even think there's 21 people living in Sedanine or Pelagiad. And look, there's more over here. How'd they even all get in that room? Jeez. All right. Maybe the hunger was just feeling claustrophobic. Good lord. All right. Okay. Urn labeled D. Bryant. Oh, this is another one of the cool secret ones. All right. Or cool Easter egg ones, right? Whoops, it is trapped. Not locked. There we are, and they're cool ashes, yep. Den Stogmer's Ring. Resist fire, frost, and shock. 30%. Good lord. But yeah, that's not an artifact because it is an Easter egg, right? I forget, are all three of them named after, like, deceased players famous from the forums or just one of them? I can't remember. I want to- I'm pretty sure all three of them are in the game. I usually only encounter the first one out by Sedanine, right? Because it's such a great place to come by and get that ring early on, even if you just run through the area. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's head on out. All right, shoot. You know what? Hey, I suppose when next we come back, we'll have a lock on onto Mamea, and then we'll hit up the other the other two. Yeah, because we still need the other hat, which I totally forgot to even put on the list because I got it conflated with another hat. When in reality, we're missing two. We're missing two freaking hats. And one of them involves doing an entire quest line which we have not done, or not quest line, but an entire Daedric quest, which, you know, sounds sounds amazing, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's it's fairly um, shortened to the point, right? Malakaths, to be sure. All right, cool. Well, when next we come back, we'll do one more round of scooping up rare artifacts from across the world of Vardenfell, and then we'll have fleshed out our entire museum collection, and then you know what? We'll finish up Blood Moon, and we'll be ready to move on, so probably what? Two, maybe three more videos to go? Until we enter- <laughs> I don't know, what, what should we even call it? Morrowind Monday Season 2? Should I restart the episode counter? Should, or the video counter or whatever in the top right? Should I restart it? Probably, that way people know- Yeah, I'll put like the overall count in like the description or something. They'll just be in an innocuous number inside of the description that or maybe i'll just say like week yada yada right yeah that seems right that way that way it's a it's an easier jumping on point right because if someone sees like oh yeah more when mondays uh 300 something or whatever oh shit <laughs> no it's it's just um the early goings on of our second playthrough of morrowind huh yeah that seems right that seems right all right cool very good all right, when next we come back, more looking for artifacts. Until next time, please take care of each other.